<laughs> Thank you. Right. This is breakfast. Nutritionally, 10 out of 10. <laughs> it's hard for a vegan. What? Oh God, I look terrible. What were you saying about vegans? She's chewing. Okay, so. Um, no, I mean, when you're not a vegan, mm -hmm. like me, I'm mm -hmm. not gonna instantly have whatever vegans have for breakfast. What do you have for breakfast? Just grass. Yeah, double garden. <laughs> do I? True. So here is the M&S Nozzarella Sticks. Very good name, very impressed. <laughs> what was that a whistle? Can you whistle? What can't you do? Wink? You can't blink, can you? You can't wink. Blink. Can you, can you wink? Mmm. <laughs> so cheesy. That's not cheesy. Very cheesy. Oh no! <laughs> Mm. They're a very good dupe. Right, now for your favourite, sausage. We were just talking about the sheath of these needs to be good. Mm. The texture is not what I expected. Mmm. They smell like peppers. Mmm. Are well, they a bit spicy? Oh, you eating your Rice Krispies? <laughs> they're quite hard. Got the sheath on my. F <laughs> <laughs> Every vegan sausage I've had is like extra soft. So, so to have one that's like the texture of an actual sausage. It, it, it's got the texture of like a pepper. That's oh, that's very stuffed with peppers and mushrooms. I imagine that's how they made it. I don't know how to describe the texture, but the flavour is really good. Mmm. I get that oil. I rate these. Thanks for coming to my. Morning tech TED talk. Why are you looking at me with disgust? They're just so like cheesy. normal. Hmm. <laughs> it feels naughty to have something like this, especially for breakfast. <laughs> but it feels naughty to have something like this because I don't know. I've been eating carrots all week. I know it is because it's oven food. Uh, That's what's like. Oh, I really want you to taste it. I will. I'm nearly finished my ice cream. <laughs> You're gonna bite the sausage, my dry, my dry skin. My hello, my <laughs> 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 dry skin. My dry Hey, I'll Does I'll feel my um, reaction of you. So smell S smell sm it smells um like cayenne pepper. Mm. A bit like a chorizo. Mm. Texturally, that's phenomenal for a vegan sausage. Mm. I will add for the camera. She took the smallest bite, that it was gonna like kill her immediately. <laughs> it's spicy. The sheath is good. Excellent sheath. <laughs> it's not chewy at all. Mm -mm. I think you should always get your vegan sausages from MS. I know, well, that's the dream, isn't it? But bank balance. Even at full price over three pounds. Can you never do that again? This is a very good alternative. Mm. Even I would probably give it a go. If it had Coming from a vegan hater. <laughs> yeah. No, but... You are. I don't hate... Go on, try the mayo now. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to make her try this. Mayo. Can we just also say that it's 10 o'clock in the morning? It's 10 o'clock in the morning! It's so salty. Oh, you're so I salty. I said that about the... I feel like it's a personal attack when you hate things. No! You hate me. I do. <laughs> Love this. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> Anna. Ooh. This is so cringe when they when they actually have a proper date. They had the most awkward kiss. It's so cringe. <laughs> <laughs> they smell like biscuits you get in hotel rooms. <laughs> no, like a nice country B and B. Do you know what I mean? I've had them. Oh. 
Hmm. This lighting's terrible. So I'm home. If my footage looked a bit weird yesterday, I chose a different setting for some reason on my camera because I thought that will look better. And actually, I think it looked weird. So, so I'm back. I've got a takeaway. <laughs> All the leftover vegan snacks. Mmm. Those are very good. I said it the other day. Sometimes you just want junk. And that hits the spot for junk. In my honest, truthful correct opinion. Done all my washing, which is great. Oh, that reminds me, I need to hang two of these things up because the hood on my hoodie wasn't dry. And on the way home, I just picked up this. I was speaking to my friend Lisa the other day and she has one of these. And um, I was like, I want one. And then one came up on Olio, So I got it for free. It's a little cat. It's a little money cat. So uh, we need to name, wait, let me just put a battery in first. Get out my battery bag. I mean... Come on. It might be because the battery's dead. <laughs> Surely that shouldn't be happening. Is it still going to bring luck into my house if it's not moving? Please let me know. Or is it gonna be a bring bad luck because it's not moving? Have I got a tiny screwdriver? No. Okay, this is a project to be continued. Gutted. Oh, maybe the thing rattling inside was actually the bearing. Hey. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna stop. So, we need a name. <laughs> so the arm was just too in, needed to be pulled out a bit. So, he, she, not sure. Our non-binary friend here. I've swapped over to my big camera because uh, the little one needs charging. Hey, I am going to create, I mean, I should really be editing slash tidying up because yet again, the place is a pigsty. I don't know how. Well, I do know how I'm a pig. Um, <laughs> pig and a pigsty. I'm going to create an art wall here with some of the art there that um, I have made. Some, yeah, because uh, I don't think you know this, but this, was my hand there? This there uh, is a card that my dad sent me and it means a lot, so. Oh God, this is heavy. See now, little munchkin stopped. Hmm. Need a little screwdriver, don't I? Wonder if Maggie has one. He works for a bit. But then he stops. Obviously, it's just the momentum. Same. It's just the momentum keeping you going. Same. Hello. First, bubble friend, amazingly, got me some light bulbs for my light, because it's been out for the longest time. Yeah, these look exactly the same. I should make sure this is off, shouldn't I? So I don't get zzzed. <sighs> I'm a horrible human. I do know that. Oh, no, I can't have it on when I turn it on because it's touch. No, what I mean, I can't have it on when I turn it on. I can't be holding it when I turn it on because that's exactly how I blew it because I, it's touch script, touch screen, it's touch. And I was holding it and it blew the, bu blew the bulb. This is a very bad shot. Ooh. Okay. Yay! Oh, we have light, everyone. It's 
it's been difficult without it, so. Our non-binary friend needs a name. So they are gold slash silver. Um, please let me know below the name you think they should be. Myself, you know this one looking at it on the camera on camera this one looks a lot darker but you don't notice it in real life in real life don't know much about history don't know much biology this crunch I've realised I'm all about the crunch. Mmm. I'm going to put away my what? I'm going to put away my washing. Tell you what. Sunday night and I'm sitting here it's 10 minutes until my live um, and I'm just having some dinner at my makeup table because uh, I've just done said makeup said makeup thanks for being in focus um, I have leftover mash from last night mm. and the um, leftover sausages and broccoli. Mm. It's not hot enough, but I'm just gonna eat it. Mm. Sunday night live done. <clears throat> Sunday night live done. It's now, well, it's now 20 past 11 and I should be in bed, but I'm eating grapes. These ones are so much better than these ones. They've got so much better flavor. Happy Monday. Yes, I am showered. Cool. You taking your meds? I've asked that million times. Mm. <sighs> okay, let's get dressed. I reckon it's gloomy. It's gonna be gloomy, I know it, I can feel it in my bones. A bit misty, a bit crap. Let's guess the weather, let's guess the weather, let's guess the weather. Oh, my plant's stuck in there. Let's guess the weather, let's guess the yeah. mm. Okay, there's a possibility of some lighter, some lighter cloud in the, in the yonder. That's not the right word, is it? Coffee. Good old cereal. Ooh. Do you wanna say do you wanna say hi to the viewers? To you, all of your fans? <laughs> Can you go and stand in front of the tree? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, um, I'm sitting in my office looking out at the London sunshine. The sun is trying to shine, <laughs> even though the sky is full of clouds. Um, Lauren is 
more west than me, and I think you've got a bit more sun than me. At oh, the it's, it's gone. It's already gone. Mm -hmm. It's fleeting. So, oh, it's so hot here, Lauren, in, in North London. <laughs> anyway, um, I just would like to say hello to you all. A happy New Year to you all. Thinking of you. I love the comments. Please keep them coming. Um, it really keeps me going because Lauren will phone me in the morning and to just to let me know what's happening. Because I don't watch the videos, um, but because I like to give Lauren the privacy. I might have mentioned that before. But I do love the feedback. Or she might say, oh, I did this this week. Or kitchen in the car. But you know that type of thing. Sorry, that's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's definitely the best moment of the video. I don't even know what the rest of it is, but that's one. <laughs> You're very welcome. Uh, anyway, everyone um, from all over the world, have a lovely day thinking of you, and I look forward to being in front of the camera as soon as possible so that we can hook up. <laughs> um, say that last line again. I look forward to being in front of the camera because hook up means uh, get together sexually nowadays. Oh. <laughs> Did you know that? I know that. No, as if I would know that, Lauren. <laughs> you might as well leave this in. You might as well leave this in. As if I would say that. So that we can... I don't know, how would you say it? So that we can... can reunite. We can Pardon? Reunite. Yeah, okay, reunite. <laughs> so we can all hook up together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you could always title this one. I can't believe it. My mum doesn't even know the meaning of hook up. <laughs> I can't believe my mum said this. Shock face. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we are going on an adventure. Well, it's not. It's just I need a blood test, so... We're going on an adventure. Uh, my doctor asked me like a month, middle of November, to get a blood test in a month. And then that was middle of December. And obviously then we're going into lockdown, it's Christmas. So I'm having it done today. Oh, my little favorite cafe. <laughs> what a strange old world, eh? What a strange old freaking, what is this guy doing? What a strange old freaking world. In the car park, there's like four spaces, which you never get because there's four spaces in a big like health center thing. And I literally just drove in, someone pulled straight out. <laughs> and I was like, thank you universe. I just, I just love it when stuff like that happens. It's like, it's like a well done. Well done for coming today from a universe. So let's put these on. I need to go and collect my form and I need to go upstairs and have the blood test. How many times can I say blood test, hey? Wish me luck. I bet they're gonna have to go in on my hands. In and out within 15 minutes. Just how I like it. <laughs> yeah, she got it out of my arm. She was good. She was so sweet. She was singing. <laughs> she was singing. So I had to wait longer because the two phlebotomists were talking between themselves. Don't get me wrong, I'm not shaming them. They'd sit in a tiny little room all day with each other. They were talking about the price of chicken and how it was expensive. Um, I should have suggested Veganuary. I probably wouldn't have taken to it well. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, she uh, she walked in and she was like, if only I was a, what did she say? If only I was a rich woman or something. And I was like, no, she said, if I was rich or something. And I was like, if only, and she was like, ha ha ha. And we were both like, ha ha ha. <laughs> oh, I love making friends with strangers. No, that's actually a lie. I, I hate making friends with strangers. But like, if I'm out in a bar or something, don't, don't, I don't want to be a friend, basically. Um, no thanks. Oh, temporary traffic lights. What's happening here then? Hmm. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it, she was singing like her own version of Frere Jacques. I know that's Brother Jack in French. My mum always used to sing me Frere Jacques when I was like, Frere Jacques, Frere Jacques, dormez vous, dormez vous. This is the, actually butchering the French language, so apologies. 
now to anyone French. Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques, dormez-vous, dormez-vous. Samu la matina, Samu la matina, dun dun dun. Anyway, she was seeing her own version, but then when she was about to put the needle in, she was going, Are you ready? I mean, I'm, I'm doing it creepy, but it was very sweet. She was like, Are you ready? Are you ready? Time is now. Um, and I was like, this is very cute and also a bit weird, but it's taking my mind off the fact that I'm about to be plunged with a with a needle. So props to her. And I was like, this is very relaxing. Thank you. She was like, ee. it was a very sweet blood test. Something I never thought I'd say. Don't get me wrong. I don't hate. I, I don't care about blood tests. I'm um. Yeah, I don't care about blood tests. I'm one of these people that's... There's a road here, dickhead. Um, I'm one of these people that's too stubborn. Oh my God, I nearly hit a crow who dived into the road for a bit of chicken. Really creeps me out when birds eat birds. Oh God. There's a guy laying on the floor. Don't worry, there's a guy next to him on the phone. I'm not gonna look. Cause I hate you know, that person that looks. My mum's friend, years ago, this must be like 30, no, 25 years ago, uh, was a paramedic and she was attending to a car crash. And she was knelt down next to the victim and somebody was taking so much time and effort to stare at the carnage that had happened, he ran over um, our friend, the paramedic, broke her legs, and she never worked again, because she was, well, it, it really affected her. Really, really affected her. Um, and I just, yeah. We just have this thing as humans, don't we, where we just love to have like horror porn and look at awful things. Frere Jacques, Frere Jacques, dormez-vous, dormez-vous. Today, I haven't even told you, I ended up staying up last night to edit that freaking what I ate in a week video with the voiceover. I was up till 3.30 a.m. So today, I feel shaky. And, oh, speed camera, no, I'm fine. I'm all shaky today, like, <laughs> Haven't had enough sleep. Sleep. Haven't had enough sleep. Haven't had enough water. I haven't had enough rest. So I've already put an alarm on my phone to get to sleep at about nine. I'm going to head to bed about nine fifteen. I could be making it later. I was going to say nine. I'm like fifteen. Do you want to see where we're going? I need to drink some water because I feel like I'm about to faint. Actually, that's a massive overstatement. I just feel a bit, whew. I am in need of washing up, as per usual. And I'm having a... Bubble friend got these from her boss, I think for Christmas, which is really random because bubble friend isn't vegan. Mm. Washing up, and then we're making some lunch at this. My friend Sada got me this book. I want to say for my third, it was for my thirtieth, and I haven't used it yet. First time for everything. Sorry, I'm talking my mouthful. Disgusting. Mm. 
I don't think this is meant to be used with, it just doesn't look anything like that. That green, maybe I just haven't used enough um, coriander, because most of my coriander was disgusting. I feel like that would be good saved and like in the noodles later that I make. Hmm. Putting some water in there. looks disgusting that would be really good with noodles okay I'm gonna save that okay at least I can store that in the fridge in the container <clears throat> so what am I gonna put on my bloody pasta oh pesto no <laughs> hummus I've got hummus, baby. I've got some olives. Okay, cool. Crisis avoided. That was ridiculous. <laughs> it could have been a quickie 10 minutes in the kitchen, but it was over half an hour to make something that was rubbish. It's cold. I'm gonna heat it up. As you can see the ah, ah. <laughs> heat it up and added some fresh tomato. That cheese actually, heat it up, changes it. So, <clears throat> that's a glow up for sure. It's really creamy. I don't know whether it's just because I've got used to vegan cheese now. And before when I tasted it, I was like, what the hell is this? But now I'm like, no, <laughs> seems about right. Give that a solid nine, maybe even a 9.5 out of 10, you know? I mean, I'm desperate. <laughs> Hello then. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see? You didn't see that. A cube of this chocolate just went flying out. It's the no missing out chocolate in. What flavour is it? Caramel sea salt. Oh no. I thought it was. That's like salty caramel. I hate salted caramel. I feel like it's really overrated. <laughs> this was what was in the pack, just like a half bitten chunk. I've just like put back in. Firstly, that was too much to bite. It's really, it's actually nice. It's really sweet. It is salty. I feel like salty, it, it literally is salted caramel. Sea salt and caramel. And I'm like, it's like that. Mm. Yeah, it's grown on me. <laughs> Leftover pasta for dinner, 
but there isn't enough, so I'm just adding in some beans. I know, I'm having beans. Who am I? <laughs> also, added a bit more pesto, no, hummus from earlier, and we're gonna add in a bit of smoked paprika, which I've got no idea what's gonna make it taste like, but hey, <sighs> live and learn. Live and learn. Ugh, it looks disgusting. <laughs> it just looks like mush. Mmm. Weird. <laughs> really weird. But edible. It's ten past nine. And uh, I just put my freaking pyjamas on and that was still on my arm. One, two, three. Oh, she did it very well. The tiniest mark, no bruise. Which is surprising because she was really digging around whilst singing. I feel like I haven't really spoken to you today or in a while. I'm absolutely shattered tonight. Now. <clears throat> my video for tomorrow night is saving, so that's what you can hear my um, laptop going it for. I don't think I've spoken about my anxiety for a while, have I? It's been terrible, terrible. I, um, yeah, it's been really terrible. I don't know why I've got this, like, mental block in my head. Because I know that with my tablets, with the propranolol, I can take up to and, 120 milligrams a day. So four, no, three times 40 milligrams. And I currently take 80, so I take two 40s. And for me, that already seems like a lot. And I sometimes when I'm nervous in the evening, I can't bring myself to take like that extra one because obviously it will be the maximum dose. And then I'm like, I, I freak I feel like I'd freak out thinking there's something going to happen to me. What if I do? What, maybe I might take it if I do need it one day when bubble friends around so that if I panic, I'm less likely to panic. And then I'm going to, so I'm just picking my toe. Um, I'm less likely to panic because I'll be distracted, but equally I'll know that I'll be all right. Um, I got some different CBD oil today. It arrived in the post, but I didn't show you. I'll show you tomorrow. It's from Holland and Barrett because they've got a sale on at the moment, which is one penny sale. So I got two for like, and then I got a voucher. So I got two. They're pretty much the same size as this. I've just remembered my dream. That's weird. Um, I found like a cellar and they had loads of these and I stole them all, basically. So that size, but I think that it's more potent, so this will be interesting. I did take some earlier, but I don't feel like it's worked. But it might need a bit of time to settle. Settle in my system. Let's put some eye cream on. Now I'm debating watching something for five, ten minutes. But I don't want to get too into anything. But yeah, my anxiety is here. But then equally, I know that's because my period's due. It's due in four days, but I felt it coming today, which... Yeah, I've got to book a flipping smear test. I should have asked about that today when I was at the Blooming Doctors, shouldn't I? Oh, I'll call them tomorrow and just book it in. I can't remember when my last smear test was. I think it's about three years, which is the normal time you meant to get them done, isn't it? So... Mm. I remember walking into my smear test last time and um, the nurse was like, oh, hi, welcome back. And I was like, I'm new here. I, I've, never, I've never been to this surgery before. I've just moved up the road. And she was like, oh, I recognise your face. And I'm like, oh, no. Don't get me wrong. I'm not like, oh, I'm going to be recognised. She was like, no, it's the same face, just a different style. I thought, well, obviously not me then. <laughs> All I was thinking was, please don't be a viewer, because you're about to view a hell of a lot more in a few minutes. Here's a reminder to you, book your smear test, because it's really important, and not enough people get them, and they can save lives. I was probably extra anxious today because I'm sleep deprived as well, that's probably why, and maybe a bit dehydrated. I'm going to promise that, oh yeah, I did actually say, I said that I was going to meet Maggie for a walk tomorrow because that is still allowed in England. You're allowed to meet one person outside to go for a walk locally. So we're going to go to the local park. Yeah, get, get a walk on to get my body moving. That'll be nice. Anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you for tonight. See you in the morning.
but I'm going to get some delicious sleep and I can't freaking wait. But I am going to watch something for 10 minutes and I promise it will be 10 minutes. Okay. Get my weighted blanket on me. Oh, freaking. Oh, bliss. <sighs> Good night.